Well, they've got it going. It's uh, not the easiest thing to get started. But there it is. An engine running on wood gas. The end of the thing is exhaust. <coughs> yeah. Well, it certainly doesn't smell like petrol. It smells a little bit like wood smoke. Um, that's really all it smells of, actually. Just a, a kind of a wood smoky sort of a smell. Um, at the rate this is going, though, it's going to be a while before I can actually use it for anything practical. The fuel companies need, mo need not be concerned just yet. I've got to be careful not to do this for too long though. The engine is running without any filters except for the cyclone. It's getting cooled gas. So right here, this is the gas it's getting. And I can easily put my hand on there. It feels like 35 degrees Celsius of any, well make that 40 Celsius. It's barely warmer than I am. There's the input to the cooling system. Oh, yeah that's hot. The output from the cyclone, this might be a mistake. Yeah, pretty hot. See, I've got all the scientific temperature measures right here. So how fast is this engine going? Well, hey, that's an RPM. It's actually struggling to recharge the battery because I ran it down quite a bit trying to get it started. But as I get better at this, I'm sure I'll get better results. Eventually this filter unit will be put into practice. That's going to be filled with alpaca hair to see whether it works as a filter. This here is my high-tech control panel. Not quite finished yet, but it has all the things needed. The engine management and soon to be set up gasifier management. The temperature of the gasifier is rising now because the engine's sucking on it more actively than the van does and it's starting to burn the paint off it shows how new this thing is this is my first day of actually trying an engine on it and um, I'm actually quite surprised that it works <laughs> I could try revving it up but I don't think I'll get anywhere with it Let's open the gas a bit more uh, it's not actually speeding up I'll try closing it slightly. No, I lose the speed when I do that. It's very fussy. I'll try closing the choke a little bit. It'll just block the air intake. Oh, that's interesting. Oops, that's killing it. It might not survive. Okay, that's actually starving the fuel now. So it looks like. Alright, oh, it's obviously not getting a, a nut or something, I don't really know at the moment. Don't quite understand what's going on. Other than it's actually working, and if I can keep that sort of speed, and let's see, that oil pressure, I'll be happy. Because that's all I want this thing for, it's a generator and a wood store for use on the farm. So, that's how it is at the moment. A lot of work to be done to get this thing actually up to a finished state. But hey, I'm actually good delighted so far. It's actually working on wood gas. It's interesting. It actually gets to its best when it's nearly out of wood. Hmm, suspicious. 